It's been a year since the night Sophie got drunk at a party, and it's fair to say a lot has happened in that time. Gosh, I can't believe it was only a year ago. Yeah, you've really grown up this past year. You know, I'm, I'm actually really proud of Sophie. Oh, Dad. No, I am. I didn't think I'd be saying that that night. Yeah, it was really awful. It was all anyone talked about for ages. You know, at, at the time, I was just so angry at Sophie, but, you know, you, you realise it's, it's, it's not just her fault. I mean, young people are under so much pressure these days. Yeah, it didn't stop you grounding me, though. Yeah, no, but I needed you to know that what you'd done was serious. I know. You know, and anyway, if I... I hadn't grounded you, you wouldn't have started everything. Yeah, that's right, you take all the credit. <laughs> Basically, while I was grounded, I started to think about why I got so drunk that night and why other young people do. I kept thinking there must be more to life. Anyway, I started this blog. It was just supposed to be a bit of fun, talking about the party, the aftermath, and being grounded and stuff. As part of the blog, I came up with this list of 20 non-alcohol related things that I was going to do with my free time when I could finally escape my dad. Oh, that's nice Sophie. Do you know what I mean? Some things were about trying something new so I took up photography. Some were about doing stuff for others like organising the charity music concert for the sick players going to Malawi. We even managed to get Jamie's band to come back and play for us. They're doing so well now, it was amazing. And something about rediscovering things that I used to love, like going back to dancing. I don't know why I ever gave it up. And some were just about having fun with friends and doing things we wouldn't normally do. So Tash, the least outdoorsy person ever, has actually survived her first night in a tent. With only a few tears. Yay for Tash! Yay! <laughs> Can we go home now? So I just kept posting about my progress and putting up photos and updates and about stuff that I did and what I was planning and what I thought about life in general. I suppose some of it was just a laugh, but some of it was more serious. At first when she told me about her blog, I was like, what is Sophie doing now? I thought it was going to be mega cringy. But I actually really love it. Yeah, Sophie has a lot to say, but she says it in the kind of way that I don't know if people can relate to or something. Yeah, and she's even managed to talk us into getting involved in all her crazy schemes to complete her list. Yeah, if you've not had a weekend off in ages. Some of it has been so embarrassing. But it's actually been a really good laugh. And there has been some perks. <laughs> yeah, Tash got herself a new boyfriend. It's so typical. He's so cute though. And he's the lead singer in a band. Helping out in the Malala concert was so worth it. Anyway. Uh, back to the vlog. Uh, we started sharing it with our friends. And they were sharing it with their friends. And then it just really took off from there. So we started getting comments from people from all over the place. It was pretty cool. We're really proud of Sophie and everything that she's managed to achieve with this. She's a real credit to the school. And she's even helping out with the school show, which is brilliant. Loads of fun. In fact, more fun than I think we've had in ages. I kind of feel like it's brought me, Tash, and Joanne really close together again. And it's not like we don't go to parties and gigs and stuff. Yeah, we've actually been to some great ones. Thanks to me and my amazing boyfriend. It's not all about you, Tash. I just don't feel the need to drink in order to enjoy myself. All right, Sophie, how's it going? What do you think? No, you're all right, thanks, Ryan. Although, some people never learn. <laughs> What's next? You know what? I really don't know. Whatever happens with the vlog, I'm just going to keep looking for new opportunities, keep trying new things and keep having fun. I suppose I'm learning just how much I can achieve when I put my mind to it. After all, you only get one shot of your life and I intend to make the very most of mine. Well, on that note, you've got studying to get on with. You've got exams coming up. And some things never change. <laughs>